Hello boys and girls, I'm back again. Welcome to another episode of Sandman's Tackle Time. As promised today, we're going to talk about fast links. There it is right there. Again, made up with the good old famous 1.6 mil uh, stainless steel welding rods that I keep on talking about. What do you need for the job? The gear. Round nose plies. Long nose plies. Universal plies. I know I keep on saying this at the beginning of every uh, episode, but I'm just thinking of those that's never seen Sandman's Tackle Time before, and then it tells them what they'll need to do it. Anyway, so that's the plies that you need to do it, and we're going to make a fast link. There's your piece of stainless steel. I've cut that to seven centimeters long. With the universal plies, get a hold of your stainless steel and put it. I don't know how you can see that in there, but if you have a look, I've put it halfway through the plier, if you can see that there. And what you're going to do now is just bend that like an L. You've then got that. Go to the other end, end and do the same again. Halfway through the plier, as you can see, but make sure you get them straight. So it's like that. I'm trying to keep this right for you so you can see that better. Then kink it only halfway. You've now ended up with that. Using your round nose pliers, jump in the end about a couple of mil from the end of that. You can just see that there. So you've got it like that. Bend it right the way around. And you'll end up at that stage there. I'll then get the universal pliers and nip it up because at the end of the day you want it all under tension you don't know somewhere I mean when you make one of these because it fails under tension in your hand you've then I've got all that will apply so you can see it a little bit better you then end up with that same pliers again go in the end hold it there like that hold on your finger and bend it over yeah then at that stage Universal pliers again, and believe it or not, that my mates is a fast link made. Get your crane swivel, there it is there, click it over the end, that's there, that goes to there, and there you go people. Now I use these when You've got your, your rig, you've put your line through your, your rings of your rod and that comes on and see if that was the end of your shotter. I'm going to show you a knot here. A lot of you uh, have used this in the past. This is for the people that's never used it. I hope you can see it, I'm coming right up close there. Put your line through there and wrap it around three times. One, two, three. That's just your standard half blood knot through the bottom you're at that stage there you've then got a loop get the same tag end one two three you end up with that got a little bit of spit it's amazing where a big gob oil comes in landy for just a little piece of steel and steel welding rod there just to pull it tight and watch now if I come right up close you'll see that that line comes out the same way as it's went in. Now I've used that knot for a long, long time. And I did have a pair of nail clippers, but anyway, I'll just snip it off with a pair of plies. That's it there. That is extremely strong, and neat and tidy. Again, I know a lot of years have, uh, have used that knot, but this is for those that haven't. I've never seen it before. Take it from me, I've fished a long time, and that is one very, very strong knot. That was shown to me by a lad called Gus McGee, who used to have rigs angling supplies at the bottom of Church Street and same, and I've used it ever since. Absolutely brilliant knot. So there you go, people. One fast link. Very strong, never rot, safe. So you take care, and catch you on the next installment of someone's tackle time. Bye bye.